And now for the ultimate bike test. Right, we found our way into the middle of the woods with my new 2022 paint job, Scott Gambler, top of the range, tuned, all the top bits on it. I just wanted to show this bad boy off really because unfortunately last weekend I didn't get to do that. I was crying on the floor, getting helicoptered off, attention seeking to different hospitals, but I'm back on my feet, wound update, nothing broken. I'm so thankful for that. Um, I was literally on the floor, getting told by the paramedic I had a compound femur fracture and then fed loads of drugs and then ended up in the hospital, sort of came round and I had CT scans and they said that I just had a, uh, a big cut on my leg. Um, and then a, it's not too bad, but it's like a 15 centimetre cut down through the muscle to the bone, which was a bit of a problem obviously, but they stitched me up, sent me home and uh, fingers crossed now we can get to Rampage in three, four weeks time, but yeah. I know you've all seen this bike before and we've actually done a bike check on the channel before but I just wanted to show it off. I'm proud of it. It's like a new new colourway. I haven't actually had to got to ride it much and I just think it looks so neat and cool and I uh, just wanted to show you around really. It's like exactly how I race World Cups. You can see we still have the number board on the front. I've actually stolen, which I didn't realise, the timing chip from the World Cup still on there. So I'm probably going to get charged for that, some outrageous amount of Swiss francs as well. But um, I just wanted to show it off and, and just show you around it again. So um, here it is. Just want to start off by apologising. Everyone that's bought these custom Death Grip jerseys, so sorry it's taken so long. It is completely out of my hands. I've been super messed around and blah de blah and loads of excuses come my way. But hopefully you guys are getting these real soon. I'm so stoked on them. They're out, all custom custom numbers they should be here if they're not for you now they should be here early next week so uh yeah thanks for that thanks for your patience appreciate it so uh yeah on to the bike start the front and actually first and foremost we do have this new tire it's new for me it's like a greg minar signature um maxis asagai um have i been influenced by greg winning world champs maybe because i've got a few things that he does on his race bike that i've actually taken in there and put on my bike first and foremost his tire um i've never really used this much before but um i wanted to try it. it's a little bit thicker up the front it's like 2.5 um i'm still running 23 psi in that but um it just looked like it had quite nice knobs i've always been a um dhr back and front guy but i thought mix it up give it a try it looks nice and fat and especially at um, lenser hider there's like so many horrible little rock gardens and stuff so wanted to try that at the front and i actually did like it and i don't blame that for my crash my crash was so weird like when do you ever crash and you're on the floor and you've still got both your feet on the pedals and both your hands on the grips it's so weird i think everyone that saw it said i was quite unlucky which helps with my confidence because when you, you find yourself on the floor for what you think is no reason it's a bit of a bummer but um yeah, that's not to blame. Um, Envy M9, as always, they're my go-to rims. I run them on every single bike I have. Honestly, the strongest rim ever. Um, we probably should do a Sam Pilgrim video of us riding with no tires on, smashing them around, drifting everywhere because they'd hold up. Uh, it's got like a plastic inner coating. So if you were to get a puncture or if you were to ever damage the rim, the, the coating, like the, the tube inside, holds full pressure in your tyre. So it's like complete fail-safe um, fail uh, idea. Unless, of course, you split your tyre and then nothing's going to help you. So, uh, yeah. Up front, yeah, Chris King Hubs, big fan. Um, yeah, got the blueies on there. Forks, your, uh, your standard... Um, Fox 40s rad. I've actually pushed these through a little bit more because I'm trying to raise the front end up a little bit just to take some pressure off the hands. Um, so I've raised them up. I think they're, they're about 11 mil poking out the top with a 10 mil spacer in there. And I'm running these at 88 PSI and on zero high speed compressions. So that's all the way off, all the way negative. 
And then how we measure clicks is we go all the way positive, so it's all the way closed, and then you open it up. So if someone says, I've got 12 clicks on high speed, it means they've all they closed and then opened it up 12 clicks. So on low speed compression, I have uh, 10 clicks open. So it's all they closed and opened up 10 clicks. Um, I've got no idea what I'm on uh, re high, high and low speed rebound, but I'm guessing probably six clicks of each. Marsh guard on there, obviously uh, Marsh, he's uh, Dino's mechanic, so it's been cool to get, get to know him this year. So we're hoping to get some custom Rampage Marsh guards going for, uh, for obviously Rampage, if I can make it. So yeah, that's coming. Petey's Valves, new sponsor of mine this year, stoked on that, big friend of mine, huge respect for Steve. We've got Petey's... Uh, uh, valve caps, all lubes and sealants. So yeah, that's uh, that's something new for this year, which I'm pretty stoked about. Onto the cockpit. Obviously the uh, TRP uh, G series brakes can't beat them. Still love this gold colour. It's so rad. I want to. I, I just want to run that on every single bike. I'm so stoked on that. Death grip, snow camo, my favourite. Deity BF800 bars actually cut these down to my choice cut on the deity bar is actually 780 but i've cut this one down to 790 because i wanted every picture i see it looks like i'm like holding my bars like this so i've made them a little bit wider um also if you come around here i've got a spacer under there a little five mil spacer just to keep the front end up a little bit more and that is if you look at greg menard's bike he's got about five of them tucked under there just to have a front end so high. Sort of take the pressure off of your hands when you're, when you're riding in real rough tracks. Moving back, can't miss this amazing, super clean paint job that Scott have done. Well, I actually say paint job, it's only half painted, so they've already done half the job. But this is like pure, just carbon, oh, it just looks so clean and amazing. And then you go into this white, um, white pearly, lovely effect. You would have seen it on my, on my Spark, actually my old Spark. Well, not old, just a couple of months ago, Spark. Pedals, obviously, Brendog Volts. They are looking beaten up from my crash. But um, they'll be good to go. Scratches everywhere, they look buggers. Um, DMR Axe Cranks, never even even chipped or bent or done anything to those. They're just amazing, amazing cranks. Shock, DH, X2, Coil. I, have, I don't run the air on this. I'm actually debating running the air for Rampage though, just uh, for make it a lot, tiny bit lighter. You can make it a lot harder. And I'm thinking maybe if my bike's a tiny bit lighter, I mean, it's already the lightest bike on the, on the World Cup circuit, but I might be able to do my threes a little bit easier. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, I've gone to a 36 tooth chain ring. I was on a 34 for a while, but I want to keep the chain in line with this pivot as much as I can, just to stop the bob, stop the movement, Day to seat and post, obviously, that's just the same old, like just stoked, stoked on those guys' products. We're on uh, just a black and white one to match my black and white bars. Moving back, we've just got the integrated, got chain device, uh, top and bottom. Right, back of the bike, M9 again. Best rim ever, so stoked. Now, I can't tell you enough how, how impressed I am with the uh, Envy products and just pumped on them. DH7, Derailia, bomb proof, so good. Um, tire wise we're on the maxis dhr on the back um, i typically run 27 or 28 psi in that um, so it's 27 28 always 23 at the front and this is the like test pilot version so it's a 2.5 thick tire um, it's got slightly thicker sidewalls for extra puncture protection. We use that because lens height is all spiky rocks everywhere and we don't do not want to puncture back there. And um, one actual cool thing about my race bike is it's got no seals in there. Like all the hubs, all the um, bottom bracket and everything. It's got this very, it's like so, like the bottom bracket, Mike has taken all the seals out, which is not winter or UK proof. But when we're racing and this thing only needs to last a weekend or two, three weekends, we can change bearings and stuff. It just gives you some extra watts. Look at that spin. Look at this spin. So good. So yeah, that's a, that's a really cool thing and quite, quite a unique thing about a race bike really is that it's kind of not really built to last. It's built to just go fast as you can over that one weekend. So that's my 2022 
Scott Gambler, tuned. I just wanted to show you around it again. I'm so proud of it. I'm so stoked to be a part of this brand and all my sponsors. I just, I'm just pretty fortunate at the minute that uh, we're in such a good place and I uh, wanted to show it off. I guess it's quite vain showing off my, my, my trick new stuff, but uh, I wanted to share it with you. And this is literally exactly how it's come back from the World Cup. You can see the number plate transponder on the front. Um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a very successful weekend, but uh, I got a new bike, so it's a new bike day. So that's a successful weekend. And I'm on the mend. Um, like I said, I just I'm just pushing as hard as I can, working as hard as I can to get to Rampage in three weeks time but uh that's my new 2022 scott gambler bike check hope you enjoyed it and now for the ultimate mtb bike test forget all those magazine articles forget all those testing this is how you test a bike the car park drop we're gonna up that we're gonna do the woodland stump drop from there it'll take me about 10 minutes to get up there but it'll be worth it That didn't do too good in that test, did it? It was front end was bouncing, back end was bouncing. I blame my um, hard pressures that I'm running for Rampage for that one. But uh, yeah, I think when people do it, they must let all the air out of their shock and fall. Anyway, she's still in one piece and we're testing. <laughs> 